real because he, he bring you to a situation in your life that it's only God and you. People can't help you with your situation. You tell them to ease the burden and to maybe like get it off of you, but at the end of the day, it's still with you because when you go down, you're still thinking about it. But when you give it all to Jesus, you know it is properly wrapped up and solved. And when you pray, you pray, you don't tell him thank you. Thank you, thank you, Lord, thank you. When I pray, I say thank you because I know that he don't answer my prayer. I give him thanks, I give him thanks. In every situation, I give God thanks tonight. Life and death is in the tongue. You see this? The spit that is, the, that's the water to pull the heat, how the, the tongue is so dangerous, and we don't even realize it. I'm telling you, when someone ill, I know they're gonna make it. With the help of God, they're gonna get you. Not only dying, you know, give nobody life to say, what they're dying, only God know. Because he raised the Lazarus from the dead. Lazarus was dead for four days. He could have gone the first day. Not in the first day. He could have do it out Lazarus dying. But that was to show the manifestation of Jesus Christ. That he still is alive. Amen. I have three scars. One in my neck, one here, and one here. And I call him Shedrach, Meshach, and Abednego. I'm in the fire, but I'm still not going to get burned. Amen. I'm in the fire, but I'm still not going to get I'm not going to get burned because Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego was in the fire and they never got burned. Because God was with them. The faith. I have a lot of faith. Faith can move a mountain. Faith without words is dead. We say we believe, but we still doubting. I'm not doubting. I'm receiving and thanking God. Faith without words is dead. Thank God for every situation. In every situation, give God thanks. Because once the devil gets you in a corner, he puts you up there and you start to be pity. Oh, and that's what he wants. Trying you're going to be strong. And I say, as I say, I can do all things to Jesus Christ who strengthens me. Not of my own strength, but to Jesus Christ who strengthens me. God is good all the time. God is good. God is good. Taste and see God is good. He is real. He's alive. He's living in my soul. Amen. God is good. He never leaves us nor forsakes us. He never, never, never. He will never leave us nor forsake us. When you look at the circumstances that we're living in, the situation, the things that is happening, we know we're living in perilous times. These are the last days. When I told my cousin about my sickness in New Jersey, she said, That you will be glorified. As your son, you will glorified in your son. So you can be glorified in your sons and daughters as well. But when we be accepted Christ into our lives, we became sons and daughters of God. And it is your desire that when you walk in our lives, that whatever wrong that was made right, that you, your people here now, will see and realize that it was not a doctor, even though sometimes they help. But unless the Lord touches, nothing is here to die. And so, Father, in Jesus' name, be glorified in our sister tonight as she seeks to glorify you among these people. But you said that if we glorify you, you will also glorify us among the people. And so we ask for that you have your precious way in our hearts and our receive. May each one here receive a blessing and may it too, if they have not yet done so, give their lives to you that you also may be glorified in their lives and so done 
cause other people to believe that really God is good. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. So after she left, the next day, they did tests. I did a lot of tests in Guando. A lot. A lot of tests I did in Guando. And I said, Lord, you bring me to it, you're going to bring me to it. You have me here for a reason. I saw the chemo, but the chemo never touched me. And I said, Lord, give me a word. This number seven, keep, you know, like following me, or maybe I'm following it, I don't know, but I know you have a word for me. And he said, pick up your Bible and look at Job. Now Job, in the Bible, I love to read the book of Job. I love to read the book of Job. And I took up my Bible. And while I was turning my Bible, I felt, and it's Job chapter 5, verse 19. I'm going to read it here. Job 5, 19. Things. Lift them up. 
when somebody comes to you with a story, be strong and encourage them to go on. Yes. Tell them things that you will do for yourself. Don't tell them things that would bring them down to the end to laugh. Because God is going to hold your hand for it. You know better. God is good. God is good. I can stand here tonight and I can say I'm a changed woman. And my neighbors can tell you that. Things I used to do, I do no more. Things I used to say, I say no more. I don't stop dancing. But I just change partners. I still got my joy. I still got my peace. And I still got my praise. all for coming here. I thank you all for coming here. There is a lot of money. You called me on the phone when you got to do the next chemo. How you guess how you lose weight? I say come tonight and you're going to see for yourself. God is good. He's a miracle working God. I want to thank every one of you for being here tonight. And thank the Holy Spirit for being here tonight. You know why I often say, you know why we have so many divisions in the church? From the time the door opens, Satan sit down there and he starts to see who he's going to make confusion sure, with. Sure. And we don't even use wisdom to realize it. Amen. We don't get vexed and we're not coming back. Sure. My God, we have to start to lose wisdom. Amen. Be wise. Be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. And I can do all things to Jesus Christ who strengthens me. God is good. Yes. God is good. Yes. No matter what we're going through, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Situations may come in your house, but hold on. Situations may come, but hold on. When I see how fat and rosy my friend was tonight dressed down, I can't believe. And she cry and we would cry together. And look at her tonight like a star. So fat. I'm sure she had to buy a set of uh, new clothes again. But, she was but God is good. Amen. God is good. He never gives us more than what it would be. You're going through a broken heart? Hold on in Jesus. Say, so Lord, you help me. Give me the answers. Give me the answers. Give me the answers, Lord. Help me to go through it. No matter what you're going through, don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. That's what the devil wants to see us give up. You're going through situations on your job. Who say, maybe that same colleague had that job for another friend, so they want to get rid of you. Amen. Hold on. Amen. That's not how you have to work, I have to work. Amen. Don't give up. You're going through situations in your house with your children, say, Satan, get them behind me, get out of here. Play the blood of Jesus in my house. You gotta go. He wants to start confusion. That you can't live good with your children. You can't live good with your neighbors. We gotta be strong. You can't live good with your friend. I had a neighbor, whenever she comes to the hospital, she loses her keys. No, no, no. She can't find her keys, and the keys right there, she gets her <laughs> One day, took her in the back. Woman, let me tell you something. We're friends forever, and I'm gonna come back. Just so I had, you know, I tell her, don't worry, I'm coming back. Don't worry. Cause she loves to cry. And I found it, nobody named she. <laughs> and oh, she felt she was going to lose Jeannie, but can't the Jean still here? Amen. God has me here for a reason. Amen. God has me here for a reason. I shall live and not die. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good. I thank you all for coming. I decided I wasn't going to stay so long. And at this time, I have some cakes and drinks behind. Everybody going to take a little piece of cake and drink. I wasn't here for the birthday, but we said it the birthday tonight. God is good. God is good. God is good. I'm happy to be alive. Yes! Thank you for friends. As you hear my little hesitation, friendship, friendship, friendship. I don't know how to thank you all. Every one of all you in here played a role in my life. Everyone. Amen. Everyone. Some send their friends to bring things by the hospital. I had more yogurt and water. And I'm like, oh, I don't have no fridge. 
<laughs> Before I could reach wardrobe, I had a washer to wash my clothes. No mm -hmm. one couldn't find me. When I, the lady called, where your ace, and I asked in the nurse, where your ace, the washer down there. I am blessed. Yeah. I am blessed yeah. and yeah. highly favored. Yeah. I lose weight because I didn't like the food. But it ain't that I wasn't getting no food. Yeah. And I lose weight for a reason because I said I was going to come at night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so God is good. God is good. Let us learn to live good with one another. Amen. When you still have things inside and you're sick, you can't get better because you don't have a burden there. Lift that burden. Yeah. If the night in here that you're sitting close or you're far from anybody you're not speaking to, don't leave out of this building with no hug them. Just forget about the past. You hear what the doctor tell me? Let the past be the past. Sometimes we dwell too much on the past. That's why we can't have no future. Oh, she say, he say, he do. Just forget about it. Learn to love one another. We're in a short time. When I die, don't come born enough for me. I love you. I don't dead already. Why you won't come tell me? Love me now. And I know I'm loved. I am love, trust me. The amount of phone calls, the amount of oh I am so blessed. When I leave one, the hospital was giving her water and things like the amount of water. Friends would send friends, but see how she doing. You you may understand me, and it's just favor, favor from God. Amen. Favor from God. You would want to know you're going to a strange country, you don't know. One day I see a man coming in, somebody selling you bringing water. Man, I'm asking, I say, yeah, so and so said, you know. <laughs> I am blessed. I am blessed. Amen. Water save your life. Like if you you don't have the water. This is bad. Amen. Each one of you in here played a role in my life. And I thank you all for everything that I has done for me. Everything. Because when the praises go up, the blessings come down. When the praises go up, the blessings come down. Amen. No matter what the situation might be tonight, thank God. I did everything. Give thanks. Give thanks. Give thanks. Give thanks. Give thanks. Thank you all for being here tonight. Amen. At this time, I'm going to ask Sister Sylvia to close this in a word of prayer. And everybody has to go behind to get a piece of cake or mug or whatever you desire. That is my little word. They treat them alive and well. Amen. Thank you all. Yes, Lord. Oh Lord, we bless you tonight. Lord, we praise you. Lord, my heart rejoice, oh Lord, your brother and sister true. Oh, what a great God we serve. Oh Lord, there's none like you tonight, oh Father. And Lord, we give you praise, we give you thanks. Oh, we bless you, Lord. Oh, that word of our praise. Lord, you alone deserve the glory. You alone deserve the honor. And Father, and we lift you up, Lord, and we bless you. And we join us and we say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we thank you, Father. Lord, we bless you. Lord, you are great. You are mighty. Lord, you are awesome, God. Lord, you've been so good to us, oh God. We don't deserve your good, but yet, oh God, you're proud your blessing upon us. And tonight we just say thank you. Thank you. And Lord, day by day, Lord, she will increase in strength. Oh, yes, and raise them understanding. Yes, you will renew her strength like the eagles yes, of God. Yes, Lord, we love and praise you. Lord, you're so pleased that God, she gave you on tonight. Lord, so that we gave the glory to the doctor. But tonight, God, she gave the glory unto you. Lord, you alone deserve the glory. You alone deserve the honor. And Lord, you are so well pleased, oh God. Lord, glorify yourself tonight, oh God, in this woman tonight. Oh God, we bless you. Bless everyone here tonight, oh God. Brother, it's been said and done. We touch some heart, and even when they go home, Lord, they will count on the things that, that have been said, and they will see, oh God, their need for you. Lord, they will trust you, oh God, for time should be too late. Hello, oh Lord, you realize it's not 
religion. It is Jesus, O oh God. Yeah. You said in your word that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Help us, O oh God, to realize, O oh God, our need of you. Lord, it's you and you alone. At the end of the road, our brother can go with us, our sister can go with us, Lord, our husband and our wife cannot go with us. But Jesus, only you alone can go all the way with us. Help us, O Lord, to trust you and to accept you and to make our kind of election sure, Lord, before we leave this side of life. Because, oh God, there's no repentance in the grave. Let us call upon you now while there's bread in our bodies in our right mind. Father, we bless you, Lord. Bless the gentleman in a special way. Bless our family, oh God. Join to close, oh God. We are close and a dare of work with you. Help us to trust you and to cast every care upon you. Because, oh God, we love with everlasting love. Father, bless everyone here tonight, oh God. Bless them, oh God, in a special way. And join to yourself that we shall not fail, oh God, to give you the praise, the honor, and the glory. For you alone, oh God, is worthy of our praise. God, again, be the glory and the honor and the praise. Hallelujah. God gave the hardest battles to the strongest soldiers. That was to me for my son. God gives the hardest battles to the strongest soldiers. Thank you all.